Okay, guys. You just finished campaign. Or you've been playing the game for like a day and you just want to know what you're supposed to be doing every day. What are your things to do? What is your checklist? What are the points you have? This is what this is going to be. I'm going to take you through the things you need to do every day, in quotes, uh, and then let you decide how to accomplish them whenever you want. So the first thing you want to do, you want to hit up the helicarrier, and you want to hit up the anthill, and I'll go to both to show you, uh, and you want to collect your dailies. That's it. You want to make sure that you get the 16 assignments, and if available, because right now they're kind of buggy, the two boss fights every day. Those boss fights drop DNA keys, which are used for DNA chests, which you will open uh, as you need more resources and gear uh, at higher levels. I wouldn't recommend opening them before you're at a character at 130 plus, and I also wouldn't recommend them uh, being opened if you're using very low challenge level stuff, because chests reward skill uh, off of challenge level. So I'm just going to kind of talk through uh, this point, because the loading times are pretty pretty heinous in a lot of cases but it's once once you get in it's really quick first one helicarrier don't have to do much just run up here as slow as you possibly can as you lumber with iron man or whomever you want it's iron man talk to her pick up all of these quests now if i have a checkbox obviously they've been completed already uh this one hasn't I haven't been able to click this up today. I've been trying to. See, pushing the button, not working. You might be able to. It's a little buggy. Sometimes it just doesn't show up. Um, I'm sure they'll fix that soon. But this is the first thing you want to do because these missions are going to be completed uh, relatively quickly. The next thing you want to do, uh, repeat the exact same thing I just did, except you're going to talk to Sarah Seriously Garza because seriously, thanks a lot. Uh, and you're going to hear that a lot, too. So go here, head on over to Utah Badlands, travel to Outpost, pick up those dailies. In case you don't know where they are, that's why I'm going to go here and show you. After that, after you pick up all these dailies, there are a couple of missions, uh, and not even missions, but places you want to go to pick up uh, resources that you're going to need to unlock stuff you can do in this game. And I'll, I'll go a little bit more detail as we uh, pick up the dailies here. Also, while you're in this area, please feel free to check out your inventory locker if you have excess gear. Uh, in general, I wouldn't keep any gear that's under purple. And once you hit higher levels, like 130 plus, I don't keep any piece of gear that's uh, even purple for the most part I get rid of. So any gear that's that, as you're leveling, any power level increase is a good piece of gear. You don't really have to worry too much about uh, what the perks are because it's all early game gear. Uh, but for this, you're going to talk to Sarah Garza, collect all of the missions, which I have completed all of them, and of course, the daily. Uh, you can do those at any point, just make sure you do them during the day. It's incredibly important uh, to get those DNA keys or to stockpile them and those giant jumps of resources. If you go to the vendor, which is Manny Cho or Sidney Gaffer Levine over in, in the Helicarrier, uh, you will get rewards for completing rank ups. That's one of the benefits of this. When you reach rank 50, you get a special reward. Uh, from what I've heard, it is an exotic. They get their own specific exotic legendary um, part uh, pieces or legendary artifacts, major artifacts. Those are going to be relevant. I, I don't know because the only people who could possibly have them right now have cheated because you literally cannot get that much experience even with all of the experience boosts you could run on your ISOs. So there are people who are cheating with their time zones. Uh, I imagine they'll get banned really quickly. But other than that, it's not really a rush. We'll find out more about that as you go on. Uh, after this, one of the first places you want to go to uh, is from a pool of places. I recommend this place because it's quick and efficient uh, and the day of the remains. There are other options like Stark Realities right here. Either of these two missions have something called a shield cache. That is a hidden vault somewhere on the map that will give you a key to be able to do the vault missions like uh, Desert Vault Elite, Desert Vault. Uh, you require a key to get into these missions. Uh, and you can get two a day, at least as of right now. You may be able to get more in the future. 
That I don't know. But I will say uh, I like to go to... Whoop, one second. I like to go to Day of the Remains, and I'll, I'll explain why as we get in. But I'll go in, and I'll go in as Iron Man, because this is a very, very quick mission if you just want to get through and collect your dailies. You don't have to complete the mission. That's the most important thing everyone should know about this game. Once you pick something up in a mission, you have that thing. You don't have to finish the mission in order to collect it. So if gear piece drops that you really like, or if the item that you are specifically looking for drops, do that. If you want to complete the mission and get the endgame mission rewards, that's fine. In general, uh, the extra effort it takes to complete whatever the mission is is very rarely worth the rewards. Vault missions do give specific types of pieces. Hives give specific types of pieces. Uh, bosses give specific types of pieces. For example, some characters, uh, Thor specifically gets Jarvis tier gear, which is its own little ability, from killing Taskmaster. Uh, up on the uh, the high tower, uh, I believe other characters could get him from there. Uh, other Jarvis gear drops for like Black Widow from fighting the Warbot, the uh, the multi-legged bot. So different pieces drop from different characters. That's the only reason to ever complete missions. If you're just looking to gain resources and value, you're probably gonna want to make sure you are doing the things that are the highest impact. So for Day of the Remains, there is uh, one part, and I'll just go through that really quickly. But I want to show you other stuff you can do while you do this mission because you can repeat this mission literally over and over and over again for valuable resources and a pretty decent chunk of, uh, of geared luck as you go on. I'll take you through the entire thing. I really have nothing else to say. I'm just going to have to sit here and look at my characters. Loading time is too long. Okay. Uh, and if you don't see one of these missions, Day of the Remains, Stark Realities, I believe there's another one, I just don't remember what it is. Uh, basically, anytime you run around, if, a, if it's not a vault mission, if you see in the top corner, like right up here, a radar, that is a shield cache. It is a hidden uh, cache of shield products. The first step of this is just run to this checkpoint. That's all you do. That's it. Step one. So, that's why I like to do this on flying characters. You can literally do this on anybody. Since what you're getting on this is resources, like uh, materials and upgrade modules and stuff like that, it doesn't really matter who you run it on, but you can get gear out of this. From this point, you have two options. You can go to the next checkpoint when it comes up, which is still this way anyway. Right there, that little white dot, or which what I'm gonna do is complete a what I call a quick rotation. I'm gonna run over here, kill this elite. Elites have a really high drop chance on uh, legendary plus gear, so I'm gonna see how quickly I can take this guy out. Okay, so he dropped uh, absolute garbage for me. He did drop two pieces. I just got unlucky with what it was. Uh, let's get out of this. And obviously, the quicker you can kill him, the more worthwhile that becomes. There is a chest tucked away on this ledge over here. Might as well pick it up. Takes nothing. And again, you can do this as many times as you want during the day, but two times in this mission uh, is all the number of vault keys you can get during the course of the day. Come here, pick this up. Then we're going to head up in this direction. This is one of those double chest buildings. The first one is a puzzle you have to solve, usually either press panels, uh, punch walls, or uh, range stuff. So this one doesn't, this one looks like ranged uh, uh, shoot panels. This is actually pretty easy. As soon as I can hit them. One, two. Mind the turrets, as I never do. As 
So that will open this bottom chest. In here is one of those DNA key chests, or it could be one of those DNA key chests. Usually on vault missions you find them. Um, so if you see one, you can open them. I never recommend opening that, a DNA chest unless you're doing a higher challenge level. Run around to the top. This is almost exclusively on this mission a hack. That's why characters like Iron Man and Black Widow are so good for this one. Uh, if you play as another character, just remember you can't do this top one. It'll never change to uh, a Smash Door, which can be smashed by Thor, Ms. Marvel, or Hulk. We go, a we go in this direction because there is a rescue person here and a chest, always. Chests, as we talked about, are just good resources. And the rescue people can be part of those missions you, you accomplish for the day. Sometimes it says, save a person. That's all it takes. You do that, pick up the chest... If, you, if you're keeping track now, we've gotten four chests and one elite. So, pretty decent way to get four chests really quickly and decent resources and credits to buy emotes and stuff from the uh, the vendor. But now we're going to head to that little checkbox over there. This mission, is, as it pops up, is going to be save these people. Unfortunately, these people are going to die. We are not going to save these people. We are going to fly right into this door that opens up. And go right to this tiny little chest over here. This chest is the shield cash chest. This chest will drop uh, a pretty decent chunk of gear. But it will also, if you haven't already done this, give you vault keys. Based on the challenge level of the fight you're doing. The vault key will give you access to the vaults. Which you can farm uh, just chests over and over. Or completion twice a day to pay for the chest. There's, again, there's a couple of extra chests in here. You want to make sure, if you keep track, we have now opened seven chests. It's been about five or six minutes. No huge rush here. And we're done. All of the resources we have are completed. I would run this twice or do this in Stark Realities. Whatever is the most convenient thing for you to do, do that. I like this one. Some people might like different ones. The, the key that you get, just to show you, as I wait for this to load up, the key that you get is always random, so if you check my keys right now, I have a Forest Vault key, a Desert Vault key, and then I have Desert Vault Elite and uh, Snowy Vault Elite. I don't have the Snowy Regular, and I don't have the Forest Vault Elite. Uh, when I complete these missions, specifically the Forest Vault and the Desert Vault, you cannot go in anymore uh, and for the day. That's why it's important to get these out of the way. After that, you get to do what you want. Now, you can, like I've seen before in my other videos, you don't actually have to complete the vault. You can just hold on to the key, go into the fight, and collect all of the chests and leave out. That's probably one of the best ways to just get gear without worrying. Uh, but who's to say what you want to do and how you want to have fun? The rewards at the end of these are good. The rewards at the end of the elites are better. It really depends. But once you get these things done, these simple tasks, at that point, you are done with all of the stuff you have to do for the day. You've, you now have access to absolutely everything. You can farm, you can kill the bosses, you can complete all those objectives. You can do hive missions, whatever makes you happy. These are the things you probably should do <clears throat> either the second you finish your campaign or as you start in if you weren't aware. So hopefully this is helpful. Thanks.